So uh, what is a PR agency, public relations agency? And what are some important questions an artist should ask before hiring one? Yeah, good question. Um, a PR agency is mostly these days has turned into like them getting you press releases. Like they still can do um, like Spotify playlist thing or like stuff like that. But it's more so these days it's, it's meaning like, we have connections with different websites mm -hmm. and we can give, get you on um, maybe some different podcasts mm -hmm. or uh, get you on, uh, get your release posted on different blogs mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, or video blogs. That sort of deal is mm -hmm. what PR agencies are. So we, we wouldn't classify ourselves as a PR agency, even though a lot of people like might get that idea confused. Um, we are more of a music promotion agency right. versus a public relations agency. So one example might be like, um, like you have, you do want to get playlisting with your new release, but you want there to be some write-ups on edm.com mm -hmm. about your stuff, right? And that write-up can help with some of the SEO that's right. going to your website. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a good idea to do sometimes, but uh, for a lot of artists, they're just not at the stage right now where PR is useful. The most useful thing for them to do uh, is usually to get promotion right now. And then once you have a more like established framework mm -hmm. uh, you're working with, then you can like try to get some extra PR. Like right. for us, if we, if we wanted to get PR, um, we would be doing it mostly for backlinks or if mm. we had like a new product out or something right. like that. Right. Um, so like I've been guests on other people's podcasts mm -hmm. and done like events and that's like PR. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but as far as just promotion wise, like we're always just promoting. Yeah. So we, we always have ads out and yeah. we're always doing, you know, YouTube videos and all that stuff. So mm -hmm. that's the difference okay. between the two. Okay. Um, so, uh, the follow up to that is you're saying like, what's the best way for us to go about it? What yeah, yeah. Well, what, what are some questions that an artist should ask? Right. About, considering the higher one. Questions you would ask the PR. Um, one I would think is like, who has been on your team before? Who have you managed before? You know, what, what other artists, what are their track record? Yeah. I mean, it's pretty much the same questions that you would ask a promotion agency. So yeah. it's, you're looking for previous examples. Okay. Um, and honestly, it's not just the previous examples. I'm, well, people can kind of get the feel from us that we're more into explaining the process mm -hmm. and like why you should do this mm -hmm. versus mm -hmm. just here's who we work with. So that's nice having the previous examples, but uh, somebody should be able to explain to you why you should do PR mm -hmm. versus playlisting mm -hmm. versus YouTube ads mm -hmm. versus Google ads. Uh, and a lot, that's like the ideal one to me. Most yeah. people, probably don't know all of them right. that much mm -hmm, to mm -hmm. tell you the difference but ideally like you want somebody working with you that can tell you exactly when to do pr yeah. exactly when to do playlisting or what percentage of your budget yeah. should go towards youtube or snapchat ads versus just saying like oh this is good exposure right um this website gets x amount of sessions per month or x amount of traffic Therefore, this is going to be a good idea for you. Yeah. No, it's not always a good idea. Like all the time. Uh, that's why I mentioned um, doing PR whenever you don't have your structure set up yeah. is probably not the best idea mm -hmm. because of like the backlinks uh, and the fact that a blog article coming out in 2021 is much different than one in 2011. Oh, 100%. Like it had a lot more steam behind it in 2011. 100%. I was actually looking at, because um, we do, you know, keyword research all the time for SEO. Mm -hmm. So I was like thinking to myself about some of the blogs that I would go on like back in high school and whatnot. And I was just like, you know what, let me just like look at their traffic yeah, right now. Yeah. And we definitely have more traffic <laughs> than like <laughs> the other blogs had yeah. that were like really, really big. Wow. Uh, so that just shows you that when PR is not dead, yeah. uh, it still has its place. You mm -hmm. just gotta use it a lot more strategically yeah, than right. just thinking that Oh, I need some press. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because 
you're thinking under the old school mentality. That's right. So it has its place, but have your structure down first. And really that's, that's more of a, a thing where you need to have your website built and your funnels and yeah. then, you know, maybe look for some PR then. Yeah. Yeah. That's good stuff, man. Makes yeah. sense.